I thought she said algebra was in class. So no. You'd be better off in algebra too. Okay. <laughs> right, Bernard. Yes. Yeah. I know my my thing is not working as good as it was yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna buy. I got permission to buy um, a different one. Yeah, like the the ones that like. Yeah. 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 My pigs use that. Yeah. That's what I water them with there. Yeah. yeah. Like the, the backpack yes. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? Pretty good. Good, good, good to see you. Who is that? We got uh, Ethan and Bailey. Ethan who? Cummins, yeah. Oh, hi Ethan. It's popping. Uh -huh. Bailey! Let's say hi to Bailey. There's the hi Bailey. Again. Hi, Bailey. Uh, she was going to do homework. You know what you need to get? The backpack with the weed spread. Oh, yeah, that'd be funny. Hey, how's Kelso feeling today? She feel better? I haven't texted her. Well, she FaceTimed me yesterday, and I was at work. Oh, yeah. Because we both went back to games, if you don't know wonder. Okay. But she, and then I FaceTimed her back on my break. Because I never answered me or texted me back. So, But she sent me a picture of Mesa Theroux Gold and a taco laying on the Bathroom floor. That's fine. Oh gosh, that's horrible. Hey Bailey and Ethan, do you guys have? Um, are you already on my Google Classroom? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, fantastic. I don't need to show you this anymore. Awesome. Okay, hi everybody. How's everybody doing today? Let me take a tenth real quick, and then uh, then I'm gonna uh, kind of go over some classroom stuff, and then. Um, and then, uh, sorry, hold on a second. And then I'm going to tell you a story. Is that uh, a good story? You've heard it before. But hopefully be reminded. Yes. Okay, so nobody sits there, right? I can't get used to these bells. Is that first bell and the second bell like a minute long? Yes. But man, it seems much longer. I don't know why. Hey, any sea lunch people? Yeah. Did it go through the yeah. okay. 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 I I heard yeses and noes, but uh, how many yeses did you think it? Okay, how many noes you didn't think it? Okay. All right. Fantastic. Everybody open up your Chromebooks and let's go to classroom. I want you to, want you to open up uh, the course guidelines. And we're gonna go through these. Typically, I go through them uh, pretty fast, but this year I do want to highlight a couple things. And uh, Bailey and Ethan, is this your first time on with me? Yeah. Okay, great. Let, just let me know if you have any issues. Um, I know I'm getting some feedback, so if you could mute yourself until you need to ask me something, or you can always uh, chat it up to. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Awesome, thanks. And I do move around a little bit, but um i can't i got like the add or something i can't sit still okay so uh just let me know if you missed something okay um all right so uh i just want to go through a few items on this and kind of give you a little bit of on um, the basis of you know what we're doing um uh so i'm not going to read that you can read that i will tell you that we have a textbook in this class you do not have to keep the te textbook. You don't even have to pick up a textbook. Okay, this is it. It is a college textbook. Seeley's uh, 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 Principles of Anatomy and Physiology. Okay, and if you want one, I will give you one. Okay, if you don't want one, you don't have to get it. Okay, most of the notes in this class will come from PowerPoints that I will end up putting on Google Classroom. Okay, some people like to annotate things as it goes. Some people are just like, man, I need to read what you're talking about. I mean, I am trying as hard as I can to uh, help all learning styles. Okay, so that's, you know, I, I am kind of a visual learner and uh, I know some of you are more auditory learners. 
my uh, my roommate in college was more of a, a person that had to read it. In fact, he kind of drove me crazy because like uh, we took an anatomy class together, or no, sorry, no, not about it was astronomy, and um, he would fall asleep every day in class. Like he was just like one of those kids. Like as soon as someone started talking, he was like out. I don't know, maybe I had like narcolepsy or something. But uh, anyway, he would just fall asleep all the time. So then he would say like, hey, Jamie, 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 can I have all your notes? And I'd give him notes because I'm like, you know, copious. I'm just, just going at it. You know, I'm like taking every, like trying to write down as much as I can with the prop say. And that dude always scored higher on the test than me. I would stay my notes. He would stay my notes. Okay. But he just got it, man. He didn't even have to listen. I had to work hard. He just, ugh, stupid kid. Anyway, uh, uh, so if you're one of those people, you're like, I just really want one of these. I want to read it. I, I need it. It's going to help me. Then see me after class, and I will get you one of these books. I have, I have plenty, and we're, we're good to go. And if you guys want one, too, email me, and we'll figure out a way that you can pick one up at school. And by the way, you can always, like, let's say you start off, you're like, I don't want a book. And then, like, three weeks later, you're like, oh, man, can I have one of those books? Fine. Okay. So I've already had like a few, a handful of people get books today. Yeah, whatever sounds good to you. All right, most of your class, okay, is gonna be made up of uh, tests, quizzes, and projects. There's really not a lot of homework in this class, okay? And maybe that's good for you, you know, and maybe that's bad for you. I'm gonna tell you that first semester, even though it seems really, really hard, the majority of people get A's, okay? And, and uh, because it's kind of straightforward, either you know it or you don't know it, okay? Like I was saying yesterday, okay? Here's the femur, right? You're gonna have to name that femur and then the parts of the femur, right? Everyone in here will get a bone, okay? Everyone in here will get a muscle, okay? And we were, well, I'm gonna knock these in, knock these in your head, okay? And um, not physically though, don't wanna hurt you. You know, but uh, what, and you're like, no, please, 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 right here, right? <laughs> uh, but uh, um, don't freak out, okay? I'm telling you, I can get you there to that point. Um, and so uh, that's what that's gonna look like. Let's look at the ca uh, classroom guidelines. Um, labs, you know, in the past, we have um, dissected some stuff. We're still trying to work that out. I would like, Man, if at all possible, I don't know if anybody's got a, is anybody butchering any, um, any cows any, anytime soon? Yeah. Really? You are too? Oh man. You are too? Okay. I really need a beef heart. Okay. With lungs attached and the trachea. What's that? Okay. They won't let, they won't. Okay. All right. No, I'll ask not, my okay. Ask. Yeah. It, it, now the butchers, here's what the butchers like to do. They like to like, like cut it all. I don't want any of it cut up. Just like ripped out the, the trachea, okay? With the lungs attached to the heart and the sac around the heart. I know, it's like when you bring it in, like I used to use- uh, uh, I don't smell, I don't want my car to smell like- it's, You would have to have a cooler that's about this big. Yeah, like you know who you said, my hookup is now gone. It was, uh, uh, Austin. uh, huh? Austin? No, um, uh, oh my gosh, I'm just totally blanking. Um, the, um, Bra Braden, uh, oh my gosh, why can't I think of it? Last answer is the W. I'm totally blowing. Wagner. Why can't I come up with Wagner? Uh, it's six period. My brain's losing it. Anyway. He used to give to every year, like, but then he had older sisters, right? You know, like, and so like, it was just like this long line of Wagner hearts coming in. So I need a new hookup. Ask, try. ask grandpappy. Okay. And then if not. Can I like. Thanks. Bring it to your house. Yeah. 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 Okay. I got to And I got to It's they'll put it in a big sack for you. And then uh, the butcher will. And then I can bring it in school. I'm like, well, let's work on it. Okay. Oh man. Okay, cool. And if we get two, two's better than one, man. No, not that many. <laughs> but thanks. Yeah. One for you. One for, 
You know, it's like, I don't have enough room for my freezer. I'm telling you, it's massive. Oh, where is it? It is massive, but it's the perfect way to look at the heart because you can actually like, I mean, I can put my fist into the, like the atria of the heart. I can like, I, the aorta is stretchy, plus, it, plus they're so bloody. It's awesome. I never pay attention. I yeah. just eat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. cool. Uh, so uh, sometimes we'll use knives, um, uh, but, you know, just, you know, don't stab somebody in the face. That would be great. You know, when do you use need it, right? Whenever. I don't need it. Like, we're not talking about the heart until, like, um, like probably January, into January, but nobody's butchering it, right? So I just take it now and we'll take pictures of it and then we'll re-talk about it. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's always this time of year that I was kind of butchering that stuff. That's why, that's why I'm reaching out. One year, somebody's like, I got it. And I was like, yes, my new hookup. And they brought it in and I, and it seemed kind of light, but I thought, oh, maybe it's just a small cow or something. And I laid it out on the table and there's, and it's all, it's kind of a mess, right? And so here's the lung, here's the lung. And I was like, Wait a second, and I spread the lungs apart, and there was no heart. It was like the lungs and the trachea. I was like, "Oh man, I really wanted the heart uh, and the lungs and the trachea, but the heart's the main point." All right, uh, you guys have been cool so far. Like once again, like I don't really write up that big a point. Okay, typically it's in freshman bio. Sorry, you know, I, I sometimes get mad at bio one, but uh, you know, I don't. You know, it's chill. Like, I don't want to write anything up. Like, if I'm talking, you guys are talking. That's fine. I'm going to give you time to talk, you know. But, like, if I'm trying to get stuff out, just come back to me, right? If, you know, we're all laughing about something, that's fine. But, like, don't keep laughing for, like, 20 minutes. All right. Um, this one is – number three is it's funny because I've, I've had this on here for a long time. But I, it's kind of like a – kind of just like a, a stupid one. But now it's really important. Please, if you're going to leave your seat, raise your hand. You know, don't just get up and walk around because of contact tracing. And then, like, you know, now I got somebody's going to question me. Well, okay, was this person at this part of the room, or did, were they in the seat the whole time? I'm like, oh, what a nightmare. So, if you do, just you know, I'm not going to make you sign anything. Like, oh, I got up and sharpened my pencil, <laughs> but like, just just to prevent any sort of like craziness. Okay, here's my pencil sharpener. It's contactless. Just stick it in and grind away. Uh, there's my trash can, you know. I don't have any Kleenexes yet. I should probably bring some of those in. I will write that on my hand. Okay. All right. Uh, look at the back of the room. You see the Indiana flag. There's Bob Dylan. That's my shower. Notice on the floor, there's no drain. Okay. Uh, so don't pull that shower unless you're on fire or if you are, um, uh, you know, got a chemical burn or something like that. Um, I don't know why they didn't put drains in there. Uh, something like, they told me like uh, 50 gallons a second comes out of that thing. One kid did pull it uh, once. Aaron Taylor's that dude. He's actually a pretty funny dude. But he thought like if you pulled it, it would like spring back up and only a little bit would come out. But like that handle, like once you pull it, it stays down. You have to physically push it back up to shut it off. So I was out in the hallway. I come back in and that whole back area was flooded. Okay, so, yeah, and by the way, it smelled, I didn't realize this, it was kind of a nice thing that I now realize it, that water's been sitting in that pipe for about 20 years now, and, and it had been sitting in that pipe for a really long time before that, so the water was stanky. It was so, I mean, it, I walked in the room, I smelled it before I saw it. I mean, it was like, we're talking like swamp butt water. I mean, it's gross. Uh, so, so please don't pull my well, shower. You're gonna smell it. Uh, yeah. I'd be What's that? I'd rather be on fire. Than <laughs> than <laughs> uh, man, I'm pretty relaxed about uh, you know technology. Just be cool. Like this one's, you know, like I love technology. Right now, I'm I'm like super stoked about this Zoom stuff. I am I am pumped out this Chromebook, this camera. I'm I, I'm super pumped about my my tripod. <laughs> Hasn't fallen over once today yet. So okay. yay. Huh? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let me knock on some wood. Um, you know, I have this stuff, this, this projector, you know, like I feel very thankful for all that stuff. Okay. I love my phone. My wife got a new phone, so I got her old phone. Now I don't have to charge my phone like five times a day. You know, like, I'm like this keeps its charge. And I was like, oh my goodness, I can download apps. I had like 16 gigs, you know, now I've got like a hundred and something. I'm like, oh, 
I forgot. I sometimes I forget I can download and keep apps. I was having to like delete my pictures every night on because I had no space. You know, that was a bummer. So I'm thankful. Just be cool about the technology. You know, last year in anatomy, I had to you know take some phones. I hate taking phones. Just be cool. You know, if you got time, get on your phone this time. You know, like or you know you forget your Chromebook and now I'm asking you to do something. It's cool. Just be cool, right? Yeah, yeah. Everybody cool? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I got to read this quote, though. This is why we can't have nice things. Uh, uh, one time this kid, um, Kyle Boone, he was he graduated in 2010. He came in and he's like, Burnworth, did you hear? Did you hear the news? I go, no, what happened? And he goes, last night, someone got stabbed at the pool hall. He's like, this is why we can't have nice things. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, they're going to shut it down. There used to be a pool hall. <laughs> you guys know where Red Moon Antiques is downtown? Mm -hmm. That used to be a pool hall. Like when you walked into the upstairs, there were like pool tables everywhere. And then downstairs they had this like disco ball and dances and stuff. <laughs> I know it's weird, but like it got shut down because somebody got stabbed. And yeah, yeah. So there you go. Uh, this is why we can't have nice things, right? <laughs> uh, all right. I don't want to write anybody up. That's, you know, there you go. Substitutes, you know, be cool. I like to get Deb. Deb's my favorite. Be nice to Deb. If you're mean to Deb, then I worry about your soul. Uh, you know, because uh, she's so she's so awesome. Uh, bathrooms again. Okay, so if I look out this door, that arrow is telling me to go this way, and yet I got two bathrooms right here. If you're going to the bathroom in my class, just go for it. Okay, you don't have to walk around all the way to another bathroom. Go right there. Go against the grain. You're fine. Okay, I, I would prefer if you go there rather than. Because class times were so short, you know, I'll just, just end it that way. Uh, please don't cheat. Uh, again, do your homework before class. Um, uh, I, I'm pretty quick on the grades, okay? Like, I like to, man, you know, like, I don't like that hanging out there. And so I, I will put grades in as soon as I grade them. I try to grade things like that night or the next night. Unless you turn something in late, okay? If you turn in something late, you know, like, I will tell you this, there's a little wiggle room here. You know, you're like, it's the end of the semester. You're like, oh my gosh, I've got an F. If I do this assignment, I'll get a D minus. I'm like, okay, fine. Okay, but like, it'll always be a zero until you get it done. And that includes tests, okay? And the reason I do that is because if you don't, like, let's say the bone test is 160 points, right? So you got an A plus in this class. You don't show up for the bone test. I'm going to put it in as a zero. Okay, and then that will that'll take you down automatically to an F. Okay, now you know I've had parents call me and they're like, "Hey, my son and daughter, not, they're not even in school today, and you gave them a zero on the test." Like that's just as a reminder to you because if you see that little blank, you might forget you have to take a test, right? You know what I mean? You see the F, you're like, "Oh man, I make I gotta make up that test, right?" Okay, so that's why I do that. Put them in as zeros. So that reminds you, I got to get that stuff done. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? Is that cool? All right. All right. So the course, I'm not going to go through all this stuff, uh, but I do want to talk about one thing um, at the end here. You can look through all the standards. Um, and so we, you, we were asked a couple of years ago to put together power standards. These are also on our school website. Um, if your parents are interested in what we're teaching um, here at Manchester. And so I think yesterday I told you, for the most part, we're doing bones and muscles. This um, semester, we're going to do a little stuff on cells. I'm going to ask you a question almost every single day. And this question, if you remember this from Bible, I don't say it. Okay. But the other class, they were kind of struggling. I don't think I said it enough. But almost every day in this class. So my question is this. Is why do we eat food? Okay. You don't remember this at all? Mm -hmm. I'll give you a hint. Remember this? Maybe I didn't do it for you, but I thought I did. Yeah, I remember that part. Oh, okay, now don't say anything. You remember this part? Like that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I did do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, why do we eat food? We're going to talk a lot about why we eat food. Right now, just for a second, in your brain, answer that question. Don't say it out loud, but why do we eat food? What would your answer be if I was quizzing? Email it to me. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know I can't just go with this first thing. I guess you could. What about the when it's your birthday? 
You can't get the big one? Nope. They shut it down. So, that's how, there's a new theory that's how COVID started. Yeah, <laughs> this one. <laughs> All right. Okay. So then second semester, what do we do? Like We're gonna, yeah. <laughs> I know. I gave too many people gonorrhea and syphilis. Those people, <laughs> there's people that have never had me before and they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Mr. Burmark gave you gonorrhea. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Anyway, so uh, uh, Okay, so here's here. I, I do have to talk to you about this um, this part. Okay, so we're gonna do second semester is a little weirder. Okay, first semester when we're doing bones and muscles, like there's only one answer for this bone. Okay, and that's femur, right? But second semester we're doing more of the processes. So like, how does the heart work? It's a little bit. It's a little bit deeper. It's not just like cut and dry. Okay, so second semester gets a little bit harder. There are times where people go from having like an A for semester to like a B or even sometimes C because you're gonna have to put in a little different kind of effort then. Okay, but there's no other way to do it. Just, and this is the, you think this is the hardest part, you know, like learn all these bones, but once you get them, you know, they're there for you. Now, um, so we'll do nervous system, then we'll do uh, endocrine system, we'll do immune system, we'll do cardiovascular system, we'll do uh, respiratory system, we will do um, digestive system, the urinary system, and the reproductive system. So let me talk to you a little bit about the reproductive system uh, for a second. So uh, Indiana passed a law, state law, my goodness, I think it's been like three years ago, that you do not have to sit in a class and learn about like reproductive stuff if you don't want to, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you, the reproductive stuff that I talk about in here is not like the talk that you got in like fifth grade, right? Was it fifth grade, is that what it is? Like the birds and the bees talks, right? That's not it, we're looking at it from an anatomical perspective and, and more of that, the physiological kind of stuff. Okay, and you can look at the state standards and kind of and there at the bottom if you want. Okay, but I'm required by state law, and I will pass this out tomorrow, to give you a sheet of paper. Actually, I have to give it to you twice. And that sheet of paper has the Indiana State Standards on it, and then it has a part for you and your guardian to sign off to say that either A, you don't mind if, like so if I'm signing for Ira, my son, I don't mind, check, I don't mind if Ira sits in a class where they're talking about the reproductive system or a box that says no, okay? There is no, I do not want my student to learn about the reproductive system, okay? So, um, so someone did ask me, well, will we be tested on the reproductive system? No, okay? In fact, unfortunately, a lot of times we only spend a, a couple days on it because it's like the end of the year. Last year, no reproductive system. It was kind of a bummer. Uh, is this fun to talk about? But um, anyway, I will hand you that paper, okay? And then two weeks later, I will hand you another piece of paper. If I don't get the paper back after like four weeks, okay, then um, I'm assuming your parents are fine with it. Does that make sense? Okay, you can either A, you know, just talk to your parents about it and then not give me the paper or have them sign and say yes, okay? I'm more concerned about the parents who say, no, this is not, I don't want that, right? Okay, and it's cool, you know? And it's just that they, you're, I will tell you, there's a, there's, there's, there are times, it's amazing how much the reproductive system comes up. Like, you guys know what the endocrine system is? Anybody know what the, what's the endocrine system? Anybody know what that system is? Anyone, anyone? Hormones, right? And so like the two evil. hormones, <laughs> my hormones to, you know, this week are going to be fired up, right? You know, you know what I mean, right? Because uh, often people think about estrogen and testosterone, right? Those are the two biggest. You have like a ton more, or like right now, you have so many hormones that are like interacting in your body. It's going to blow your mind once you find out about all these hormones. It's cool. Like right now, you've got a, a hormone that's regulating the calcium in your body. What? We need calcium to like do everything, 
Okay, yo, is great. Serotonin? Serotonin hormone, right, absolutely. Yeah, dopamine, right, all that good stuff. So, oh man, neurotransmitters, some of the, there's hormones there, neurotransmitters. I could talk, if I, I, if I could have my, my withers, I could spend an entire semester talking about the endocrine system and an entire semester talking about the, the brain, the nervous system. That'd be so much fun. I love them. You, you're going to ask me to shut up about the brain and the, and the endocrine system. You're like, I've had it. But, oh, man. Brain surgeon. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to kill anybody. I'd probably kill somebody. Uh, all right. Okay, so every clear. So tomorrow I'll give you that paper. Okay, you take it home. Talk to your I do want you to talk to your parents. I don't want you to just like stuff in your pocket. Okay, uh, you know, and then just find out. And then talk to me too. And I've had parents come up to me and, you know, ask me, you know, like, can I see your your curriculum for the uh, reproductive system? And I give them one of these books. I give them my PowerPoints and stuff like that. You know, we do talk about some uh, STDs uh, too, which uh, uh, can get real weird, but, um, but fun. <laughs> So anyways, there's that. There's my reproductive talk for a second. Okay, let's shut our Chromebooks, and I'm going to uh, read you a quick story. So when I, I was in Harford City, grew up in Harford City, I went to Taylor University, my freshman year of Taylor University, a guy named Walt Campbell read what I'm going to read to you right now, and he, uh, uh, it stuck with me. And so I thought, I'm going to read this when I'm a teacher on one of the first days of school. Now, some of you have heard the story before, okay? And I'm sorry, okay? But uh, hopefully, maybe you're like, oh yeah. And then I'll talk to you a little bit about what that means to me. Uh, but uh, the basis is C. And I put this up here. I think this has been up here, like in this position since day one of my, of my classroom. As much for you know me as it is for you. Like to remind myself that I wanna be a person who sees uh, 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 the world differently um, and, and, and with a, a very keen eye. So uh, this is from a book called Pilgrim at Tinker Creek by an author named Annie Dillard. It's really short. Um, and then I'll tell you about uh, my life after that. All right. When I was six or seven years old growing up in Pittsburgh, I used to take a precious penny of my own and hide it for someone else to find. It was a curious compulsion. Sadly, I have never been seized by it since. For some reason, I always hid the penny along the same stretch of sidewalk up the street. I would cradle it at the roots of a sycamore, say, or in a hole left by a chipped off piece of sidewalk. Then I would take a piece of chalk and starting at either end of the block, draw huge arrows leading up to the penny from both directions. After I learned to write, I labeled the arrows, surprise ahead or money this way. I was greatly excited during all this arrow drawing at the thought of the first lucky passerby we would receive in this way, regardless of merit, a free gift from the universe. But I never lurked about. I would go straight home and not give the matter another thought until some months later, I would be gripped by the impulse to hide another penny. It is still the first week in January and I've got great plans. I've been thinking about seeing. There are lots of things to see, unwrapped gifts and free surprises. The world is fairly studded and strewn with pennies cast broadside from a generous hand. But, and this is the point, who gets excited by a mere penny? If you follow one arrow or if you crouch motionless on a bank to watch a tremulous ripple thrill in the water and are rewarded by the sight of a muskrat kit paddling from its den, will you count that sight a chip of copper only and go your rueful way? It is dire poverty indeed when a man is so malnourished and fatigued that he won't stoop to pick up a penny. But if you cultivate a healthy poverty and simplicity so that finding a penny will literally make your day, then since the world is in fact planted in pennies, you have with your poverty bought a lifetime of days. It is that simple. What you see is what you get. Let me read that last part again if you happen to space out. It is dire poverty indeed when a man is so malnourished and fatigued that he won't stoop to pick up a penny. But if you cultivate a healthy poverty and simplicity so that finding a penny will literally make your day, then since the world is in fact planted in pennies, you have with your poverty bought a lifetime of days. It is that simple. What you see is what you get. So when I was 15 uh, in Hartford City, my uncle was living in Louisiana with his wife and two kids, and they decided to move back to Indiana. 
and uh, they uh, uh, ended up buying a house on Lake Tippecanoe. Has anybody ever been to Tippy Lake before? Okay, super cool place. And as a 15 year old boy, uh, I thought that this was going to be a game changer, a life changer, the best thing maybe to happen to me because lake house meant speedboat, jet ski, wakeboarding, okay, swimming, okay, tippy dance hall, girls, making out with girls, swimming with girls, more girls, lots of girls. I was like, this is it, man. This is going to be the best summer of my life. And, you know, I was going in to be a freshman. I'm like, every summer, I'm just going to live at the lake, man. This is it. Okay, so we finally got the house. My parents were like, we're going to go up and visit Uncle Ted. And I was like, yes, this is it, finally. So my brother, who's four years younger than I, my mom and dad packed up the car. It's about an hour, 45-minute drive from Hartford City. I remember most of it. Okay. I remember watching the telephone poles go by, thinking it was the longest trip ever. I remember songs on the radio, Midnight Oil, beds are burning. Remember all those things, getting to the house. Unfortunately, I had to take a house tour. Like, what the heck? Who cares about the house? Let's get on the water, right? Okay, so we finally saw a house. My uncle's like, let's go out. Let's, let's, hit, let's get in the boat. I was like, yes. Okay, he lives in the channel, not like lakefront. Still cool, you know, whatever. But he's kind of up on a hill. And I didn't know like which pier was his, right? So we're out, we're kind of like walking down the piers and we start getting closer. I was like, where's your jet skis? And he's like, oh, uh, we don't have any jet skis. I was like, well, where are the wakeboards? He's like, oh no, we don't have any wakeboards. I was like, well, which boat is yours? And he points to this like pontoon boat that looked like it was like from 1920, it had like a trawling fishing boat motor on the back of it. And I was like, are we gonna go tubing? He's like, well, we can try. Have you ever like tried to tube behind a trolley fishing boat, right? It's like, you know, it's like, a, you know, like 35 miles an hour. It's like, hell yeah. Like, this is real time, you know, boom, right? You know, <laughs> boring, horrible, dumb. I was like, no, this is, this is not what I thought this was gonna be. We get in the boat and I was kind of bummed out. And he's like, well, let's go to the sandbar. Maybe there's some kids your age. You can hang out and meet some people, right? So I was like pumped about that. So we get to the sandbar, I see some, see some prospects you know pretty pretty excited okay right when my aunt is throwing in the anchor she dropped it in the water my two cousins dropped their swimsuits to their ankles and began peeing they're four and three by the way okay so there's not they're not old they're four and three begin peeing off the side of the boat crossing streams giggling laughing my aunt grabs them pulls her swimsuit up pulls the anchor up she said we're out of here we can't swim here anymore this is, i know too many people it's going to be embarrassing i was like what we can't, who cares we got out of there no swimming okay I'm like what this is the worst day of my life right so my um my uncle's like well let's go over to grassy creek it's kind of area between like tippy and, and and barbie and i was like i don't even care they just sat moping in the back right kind of just like watching the peers go by here 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 you know like boring right and you know how peers are, they're like, here's a peer, here's a peer, here's a peer, here's a peer, right? I see this one peer, I'm still bored, but like it caught my eye because it was like longer than all the other peers, right? And it was at a weird angle. And it looked like there was a statue at the end of the pier, okay? A statue of a bird called a great blue heron, okay? Now, a great blue heron, a lot of people around here call them cranes, right? It's a tall bird, skinny neck, yellow beak, blue gray bird. Y'all with me on this? Have you seen him before? What's that? Your favorite bird. My favorite bird. Do you remember? It was standing on blue on the side of the, it was standing on the side, right? And it was looking in the water. And I thought it was a statue. And then as we got closer, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a real bird. This is pretty cool, you know? And as I see it, you know, I'm watching it. All of a sudden, the bird dives off the pier into the water, totally submerging itself. I was like, dear God, this bird is killing itself. It's on a suicide mission. This bird is dead, right? I mean, the, the water went like glassy, you know? It was like calm, nothing. I'm like, ah, okay. Then all of a sudden I see a little ripple and the bird emerges out of the water. And at this point, everything is in like slow motion. Like, you know, those, those movies, it's usually like sports movies, like the, the, you know, the underdog is, you know, like never going to win. And then, you know, the football goes up and it's all slow motion, right? And the guy catches it like, oh, you know what I mean? That's what this bird is doing. The bird is coming up and water is like dripping off of the feathers. And I see in its beak, 
there's a fish and the fish is like Whoa. and the bird i kid you not just in like just a couple swoops go back up to the pier tips its head back swallows the fish and then goes right back into this like statue like position i was like what just happened right the whole thing seemed like it took like an hour but it's like 20 seconds right you ever been in those situations like that okay in that time i forgot about like the jet skis the speedboat and the wakeboarding okay i forgot about the tippy dance hall and making out with the girls i did i mean i still want to make out with the girls right okay but like i just forgot about it i was focused on that bird that's what seeing is right that's what i want and my hope for you is this year when we're doing anatomy you're like my body does that like whoa i have a spleen and it's over here and it's like digesting my red blood cells right and this pain right here in my side that could be an appendicitis because that's where my appendix is and holy cow i'm like thinking right now because calcium is being like shot into my brain okay and stuff like that right it's awesome Okay, that, these are the moments where I'm like, I hope for you that this year you can have those moments. But I also hope that like you can find, you know, I still love birds. I mean, ask anybody to buy one. Like, I, I mean, I, I'm obsessed, I love them. This summer I, I went to Joshua Tree National Park in California. I saw this rare bird called California Scrub Jay. I even called the park, I was like, I don't know. They're like, no, 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 put it down, man. I think you saw it. Like nobody had seen it in the park for like two years. And I saw it, I got this grainy picture, like like Bigfoot, you know, <laughs> like, there it is, okay? I still get jacked about that. You might not love birds as much as I do, but I hope you have that thing, okay? It might be like music, it might be art, it might be, you know, work on your cars, it might be some sport, it might be, you know, whatever it is, that moment where, you know, you're in it, you're not thinking about anything else, right? Not check your phone, you're not worried about anything. There it is, right? That's what seeing is, and I hope you have those moments. All right. Any questions about anatomy? Any questions from you guys? Bailey, Ethan, you good? All right. They're still on there. Yeah, they're still listening. It's awesome. Yeah, like great the, story. Hey, thanks. You want to see the? You want to see the? This is the class that you're a part of. That's crazy. They're good. They're good kids. They're all good kids, right? They're all nice. All right, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to shut you off now. Hey, if ever. And once again, if ever you're not able to uh, see something, um, uh, I'll YouTube these. I'll put these so after school or sometime between after school and five o'clock, I'll upload these and you can always watch them again. Okay? All right. All right. Hey, see you later. Have a great day. Okay, thanks. You too.